jeez. Oh, that's not bad. Alright, so this is a little weird. We're gonna see how this goes. Not super happy with this solution, but it's what we gotta do today. again heading over to the church to uh, help film some little training videos for the uh, various sound systems more like little tutorial videos for people coming in and using the rooms just so they know how to use the uh, the audio and video systems in there anyway I've got my I've got that case back there. I'm not super happy with the way it's sitting. It's kind of pushed me way forward on the seat and it's kind of uncomfortable. But I didn't want to drive today, so you gotta do what you gotta do. I'll have to find a better, a better solution for that. I was thinking about getting like a rack to put back there. But, you know, I don't want to spend whatever, 150 bucks on that, uh, the one from Super 73. I may end up doing that anyway. That's the one thing about the, um, about the S1 is that there's a lot fewer aftermarket options for things like that. It's a little chillier than I thought it was going to be today. And the weather has been so weird the last few days. Yesterday was pretty toasty. I think it was up in the 90s. And then uh, I was in my room last night editing that last trail video. And I heard crazy thunder and then uh, a bunch of really hard rain. Um, and that was kind of surprising. And now today it's, it feels nice, but it's a little bit chilly on the bike. Still trying to figure out the settings for this 360. Still trying to figure out what's best. Um, I think the manual mode looks pretty good on that um, uh, that downtown plaza video. But then when I switched back to auto mode for that trail, that last trail video, kind of looked like butt. So I'm back on manual mode, same settings as that other video. But I need to figure out what to do in low light situations. I just filmed a couple nights ago. I don't know if I'll even have the video out. But um, riding over to the church and coming back at night, it was super dark. Uh, at least the footage was super dark. Um, because, you know, the sun was going down. I couldn't keep adjusting settings as I was riding. But you know, I haven't tried auto mode at night. So next time I'm out for a night ride, I'll throw the 360 on in auto mode and uh, just see what that looks like. So we're taking this new route back to the church. I rode here the other day. It was pretty cool. It was the first time going down underneath the freeway. It looked pretty cool down there. I saw the um, the other Turtle Bay location, and uh, I still want to explore that a little bit more when I have a free day. I didn't go super far, but um, it looked like there was some cool stuff back there. It might just be like walking trails, I'm not sure. But this path is pretty cool.
This is a pretty cool spot. I got some people out there on their boat. Oh, hey, pup. Hi. Hi. There's a bunch of homeless people down there last time I was, last time I was here. We got a pretty gnarly homeless population here in Redding. It's kind of a bummer. So yeah, this is Turtle Bay East. Big open area. I don't really have time to go explore though. Man, this hill isn't fun though. Should be a lot worse on a regular bike though. But you know, people do it. Hardcore riders. That I am not though. Jeez. About 15 years ago I would have mobbed up that on my fixed gear, but I do not have the body for that anymore. Alright. These nice homes. barely even pedal right now. My knees are like hitting my handlebars. We are here, back at work. I don't know if uh, NATO is here yet. Man, I gotta stretch my legs out after that. This is so ugly. I hate this. Somebody help me out. Tell me what to do about this. If anybody's got ideas for what I can do, let me know. Alright, I gotta go find Nate. such a pain. It's fairly secure. Alright, so we just got done filming. Gonna go back home and edit those tonight. Nice day. It's a little overcast, a little gray, but it's a lot cooler than it was yesterday. It feels great. It feels really good out here. I'm a little concerned about what the summer's gonna be like. I don't know how comfortable I'm gonna be running these cameras in, uh, you know, 
105, 110 degree weather. I'm not sure if I'm gonna even wanna be on the bike in 105, 110 degree weather. But, might actually be better than the car since my AC just went out. I feel like that case is kind of jiggling a little bit. I definitely don't want to lose that. I think Arco is $5.99 a gallon. Jeez. That's absolutely insane. Alright, we're going to go back the way we came. So we'll see what JAS has their gas for. It's probably one of the cheapest places in Reading. $5.95 a gallon. Man. Man, I can hardly pedal. Sitting so far up on the seat. Got a bird scooter over there. so much especially pigeons they're the worst all right let's cut back through here So, yeah, it was just the tire in the, the tube. I ran over like a, looked like a little cotter pin or something. It's not fun to push. It's pretty heavy. <laughs> Thank you for checking up on me, though. Appreciate it. I watched Dylan Thompson do this, too. So, shout out to him. If 
I hadn't seen that video, I probably wouldn't have known to do this. Push this up on you there. Oh, hopefully this works, man. Let's make sure we get this seated on here nice and tight. Hopefully this will start going. Alright, we made it. 25. So let's get our little cap. Pull that off. Let's pack it up. Okay. Now we want to let the tires spin a bit to distribute. How's best to do this? Let's pick up the back. And oh, geez. Oh, that's not good. That's really bad. That is really, really bad.